I'm Justin Griffin from Virginia. I'm excited to share with you a new technique for managing irreparable rotator cuff tears. This procedure is a biologic tuberplasty where we place an Arthroflex dermal allograft on the humerus. Our patient is a 56-year-old active male with right shoulder pain. He's had pain for several years and has failed and attempted prior surgical repair. He's very active, participates in CrossFit, and really can't sleep due to pain. On exam, he has painful range of motion. He has crepitus, weakness, and an intact subscap on exam. As you can see, he has otherwise preserved range of motion. On his x-rays, you can see he's got a very nice preserved glenohumeral joint space, as well as an acromiohumeral space that does not suggest advanced rotator cuff arthropathy. His MRI shows a significant retraction of his supraspinatus tendon and an irreparable appearance. So what are our options? When we consider what to do for this patient, we can think about a partial repair or simple debridement, but that might not produce an optimal result for this patient. We can think about a graft procedure to the humerus, which could include what we're talking about today, which is a biologic tuberplasty, a biologic augmentation to the humerus, or a superior capsule reconstruction. And then of course, reverse shoulder arthroplasty, which we'd like to avoid for this particular patient. Some of the patient factors is a discussion with the patient about the fact that they have an irreparable rotator cuff tear, they have an intact or repairable subscap, mild to no glenohumeral arthritis is what we'd expect, as well as preserved range of motion with the patient able to reach above 90 degrees. This is not something that I personally consider in the pseudoparalytic patient. The benefits of placing this graft on the tuberosity is that we produce a permanent spacer effect, something that's going to last long beyond three to six months. We have a pain relieving operation that's preserving the bone for this young patient, as well as more rapid rehab. When viewing from the posterior portal, you can see our arthroscopic view of a clear irreparable rotator cuff tear. We've medialized the articular margin. This is the first step to increase our coverage of the humeral head. And next, we're going to place our medial row anchors, which in this case were knotless swivel locks. After placing those, we measure and cut our graft. And once it's prepared on the table, we bring it to the patient and we introduce it in a knotless fashion. We then control the lateral portion of the graft with our cinch sutures, and then we finally place our lateral row anchors. You can see that it produces a very nice spacer or bumper effect with minimal abrasion of any kind of tuberosity against the acromion. And as we bring it through a range of motion, you can see we have great coverage, and we've actually taken the time to repair our rotator cuff, not only posteriorly, but hopefully anteriorly in almost all cases, to provide a repair which hopefully improves the patient's strength and outcome. Once we've completed that, then we accelerate the patient's rehab. In this case, we typically will produce a more rapid rehab protocol with the patient's starting early range of motion and strengthening a little bit earlier than other patients. So here we can see our patient at six weeks with great range of motion and no pain. At four and a half months, again, no pain at this point and still improving in terms of his range of motion. He was very happy with his outcome. This is the same patient at nine months with a preserved acromiohumeral distance. Our patient numbers continue to grow and the outcomes continue to be excellent. To date, we have approximately 25 patients in our series and we're very happy with how the patients are doing with no revisions. I hope this helps you to solve a more challenging problem in your operating room. Thank you.